Okay, hi. Um, it's Sunday evening. Um, we're going to enter week five, and I just wanted to do a quick little video uh, to set the week up. Now, I, I also just uh, rated your um, financial definition assignment and the uh, chart of account assignment, and you know, you all have this down pat, so that's fabulous. Um, I'll dare say that you guys are more advanced than the last class I taught. Um, so that's fabulous. You, basically, you, you know the basics, okay? Um, so this week we're going to talk about financial statements. And just as sort of the setup for that, uh, when you want to think about the financial health or yeah, financial well-being of an organization, you basically want to talk about three things. Uh, one is their net worth. You know, like how much wealth do they have? And when we think about this as individuals, we say, well, what is our net worth? Uh, how much? What's the value of what we own minus the value of what we owe? Okay, our assets minus our liabilities, and then that gives us our net worth. Well, it's the same thing with organizations. You want to see what, what their assets are. You want to compare that to their liabilities. And then you want to say, well, are, are their net assets positive or negative? And that's the essence of what the statement of financial uh, position is. Okay, That's one of the three financial statements. The second um, thing that you want to think about when you think about the financial well-being of an organization is, uh, is it profitable? Uh, does it bring in more revenue than it has expenses with money going out? And it's sort of like with us, right? Uh, our personal um, finances. Uh, are we spending more than we're making, bringing in, or do we bring in, have more income than our expenses? And, you know, if our uh, revenues uh, are more than are more than our expenses, then yes, that's a good thing, right? Because that means we actually have a little bit of net profit or surplus at the end of the year uh, that then actually gets uh, added to our wealth. So um, and this and so this notion of revenues to uh, expenses uh, leading to a surplus or um, a loss or a net asset um, is covered in the second financial statement that we'll be talking about which is the statement of activity and then finally when we think about our financial health or our financial well-being there's always this notion of how much cash do we have uh, how much cash we have in our pocket or in our checking account or in our savings account that we have to pay the bill when the bill comes due. Um, and so uh, the third statement uh, that we'll be looking at is the statement of cash flow. Um, so, uh, oh, and then of course, obviously, this issue of cash relates to liquidity, which is uh, the big thing that Zietlo talks about in his text, and that as an organization, you always want to have because there'll be the financial crisis. It's not when, it's not if it will come, it will come. And also, hopefully, uh, you'll have the opportunity, the operational or programmatic or organizational opportunity uh, that requires money, uh, but will really help you maximize your mission. So you always want to have this nest egg, this all, uh, alternative liquidity target uh, maintained, uh, well, defined and established for what would be a good amount of cash for your organization to have and then also obviously to maintain it. Okay, so those are the three things uh, that we think about when we talk about financial health of organizations and sort of um, related in a related manner to personal finance. Your wealth, which is related to fine, uh, statement of financial position, uh, your profitability, which is related to the statement of activity, and your cash, uh, which is related to a statement of cash flow.
Okay, and so this coming week we're going to look at those three uh, statements, and hopefully um, we'll be able to see how the uh, individual accounts and the terms that we learned this past week fit into these statements. Okay, all right. I guess that's all for now. Um, hope you're all doing well, and uh, I'll see you online. Okay, thanks.